Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. The National Weather Service maintains over a thousand transmitters that broadcast important weather information 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, these weather broadcasts can be picked up with a NOAA weather radio similar to this one. But while there's coverage for virtually the entire United States and its territories, there are some areas where there might be weak signals or reception may be limited, such as inside um, concrete or metal buildings like schools, hospitals, or factories. Using an external antenna will greatly improve reception if you live in a weak signal area or building. Most weather radios, like the Midland All, weather, All Hazards Weather Radio, have an RCA jack on the back for an external antenna. My NOAA Weather Radio J-Pole antenna is tuned for reception on the weather bands, and I have an adapter kit so you can use common RG6 cable to connect your radio to the antenna. So to connect the antenna to the radio, first mount the antenna to a pole or a mast outside. A couple of hose clamps will do the trick. Then take the adapter kit and thread the F male connections on the cable to the F female connections on the adapters. You can then route the cable through your house or building and take the large PL259 connector and attach it to the antenna. Seal everything up with electrical tape. A choker ballon is not required for receive only. Next, attach the end with the RCA connection to the radio. The weather radio will use the external antenna once, this, once it is plugged in. With an external antenna, you'll now receive strong and solid reception of NOAA weather broadcasts. If you have any questions about using an external antenna with your NOAA weather radio, please drop me an email at kb9vbr at jpole-antenna.com or visit us on the web at www.jpole-antenna.com. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and 73.